Jim Revior. I am one of the co-organizers, um, but I am getting a little ahead of myself. I want to talk about uh, growing by giving back. And basically what I mean by that is um, how volunteer work can help your career, and your career can help your volunteer work, and how that flows and, and whatnot. Um, this is not one of my technical talks. If you've been to any other meet, any of the meetups in the past or, or work in Boston, um, my talks are usually very technical. There's no code in this. There is no, um, okay, there's one meme. But um, this is uh, a little bit out of my comfort zone. It's, it's talking about, I'm talking about me um, and my experience in, uh, about volunteering and specifically with New England Give Camp. Um, and the reason why I wanted to do this talk is because the last gift camp I realized that very fact, that my career and my volunteer work kind of went hand in hand in tandem. And there was this feedback loop that just, that each thing fed off of each other. And I thought, I thought it would be a good story. It could go really well or this could go really badly. I hope the former, but we'll see. And work. There we go. So a little bit about me. Um, before I was a developer, I was a uh, support uh, support technician. Um, out of I started in New York as uh, in an insurance company. Um, this was the early '90s, so I had to wait for the web to be invented so I could get a job in the web. Um, worked at About.com for a number of years. Um, and at about.com, I learned about PHP, and I learned about, um, and what I did with that was I, I had a need for what the kids now call applications, back then they were just called websites, um, for like inventory stuff and, and whatnot. So I built them myself on, with PHP and really like enjoyed that process of showing something dynamic um, from like the data that I put in, just stuff flowing through. Um, but it took a little while for me to actually get in as a developer. I moved to San Francisco, I moved back, uh, worked for another uh, couple places in, in support. But eventually I decided, you know what, let's, let's try this dev thing. Um, started taking some classes, um, but that is to go on. That's the one meme. Um, so in, in my research, I found this, uh, this page called Volunteering and its Surprising Benefits. And it had these four bullet points that tied in with my talk and actually kind of frames my talk. So I'm going to take those and go forward with this. Um, those four are um, volunteering connects you to others. It's good for your mind and body. Uh, can advance your career. And brings fun and fulfillment to your life. Um, also this quote I came across as well and it just seems to, seem to, to ring with me as well. Um, volunteering is the ultimate exercise in democracy. You vote in elections once a year, twice a year, four times a year, however many times you do it. Uh, but when you volunteer, you vote every day about the kind of community you want to live in. This goes with tech, this goes with you know, volunteering, the soup kitchen, whatever. So let's start with volunteering connects you to others. And we'll start with the uh, inaugural Give Camp. So this was 2010. I was working as support tech, but I was taking classes as uh, for, for, for web development. And at one of the meetups that I attended with my class, this man stepped up, stood up and said, we're doing this thing called New England Give Camp. Um, and basically what he was talking about was a weekend of coding for nonprofits that can't afford a full-time developer. Um, they have to very, I mean, they have a very small budget, they need, but they need, you know, a, a decent web presence. So, my classmates and I thought this was a good idea, so we all signed up to volunteer, and I got paired with um, a bunch of other bearded people, um, and I'm the sole non-bearded person, so that's why I can't figure out how to hold a beard. Um, and we worked on a site called Catching Joy. And Catching Joy um, provides kids an ability to volunteer for um, 
events that normally are geared toward adults. This, this woman, Joy, just finds ways to bring kids into all these different events. And I felt like a fish out of water. I felt a little bit out of my, out of my depth. Um, I was just starting to learn development. Um, I had some PHP knowledge. Um, she needed, we were building a new website for her. Um, the other folks in the team seemed to really have an idea what they were doing. Um, even though this was our first give camp, this is the first time that you know, we've all gotten together. And it felt a little, a little conflicting. It was, um, it was good in the sense that everyone was together and we brought all these people that you know, we never would have met came together to help these nonprofits and it just felt really good. Um, but on the other hand, I felt like I wasn't contributing enough and it was a little, a little disconcerting. So why did I go back? If I didn't have a stellar experience, um, why did I go back? Well, th that former feeling, that the feeling of being together with a bunch of people to help others, just that rang real true. So that brings me to the next, volunteering is good for your mind and body. I can't quite speak to the body part of this because Give Camp feeds us really well and there's lots of snacks and you're up really late. I don't know how good that is for your body. I'm still alive, but I can speak to what it does for the mind. Um, so the second Give Camp, um, I again worked for uh, Catching Joy. But this time I worked as the team lead because the other members of my team were going to be on different groups. I had knowledge of the, of the client, so I got to lead this team. And I still was a student, but I had more knowledge. But I had a feeling I knew, I had a little bit more WordPress knowledge, so I had a feeling I knew how to get this going. And we did it. Um, it was a team, it was a small team of three of us, and we all pitched in and you know, worked to the midnight oil and through the midnight, that didn't work. Um, but we got the site done and it was presentable on every Sunday, uh, Sunday after of Give Camp, uh, you present your work. And we were able to present work. It was finished, it was good. A couple months later, I was able to uh, roll that out for Joy and she was ecstatic. She was very thrilled to have this brand new website. In fact, Joy is the one Joy has been to every Give Camp, every single one. I don't think she's ever missed one. She always comes back and she does a little, gets a little more work done for her site, a little more work done for, for um, her son is also this entrepreneurial wonderkind and he has ideas as well. Um, and she's also, because she's done this so often, she's also become Give Camp's fiscal sponsor. A little side thing, I'll be looking later. Um, she becomes our, she's our fiscal sponsor so that she, um, so Give Camp itself is also an honor. So volunteering can advance your career. So after that Give Camp, I was on a pretty good, pretty good streak, pretty good high. I finished my courses um, and started looking for a job. I picked up a couple freelance gigs, um, both WordPress based. And because of my knowledge at Give Camp, or the feeling I got from Give Camp, giving me a little bit of confidence boost. My freelance knowledge, and oddly enough, my past troubleshooting skills, I was able to land this job at Oomph. They're, they're an agency based out of Providence, and at the time, they were focused on WordPress, they switched to Drupal for some unknown reason, um, but I won't fault them for that. But the CEO found something in me to allow to, to, to give me that chance to work as a developer. Um, I was able to pull in my past troubleshooting experience uh, to do maintenance on certain websites. Um, it introduced me to the WordPress world and this community of, of welcoming people and made me feel like WordPress is a good place for me to continue going. And I could say I was a developer. Now, saying I was a developer at Oomph was kind of weird because it felt like I was getting punched in the gut, but I could say it was an agency, I could say I was working, no longer a support person. Nothing wrong with support, just not for me. So that brings us to GiveCamp 2012. GiveCamp 2012, um, you know, I've, I'm now working full-time as a developer, I did really well the past year, 
let's do another team lead. So I did. I led another team for uh, a farm out in West Massachusetts. Western Massachusetts is called Turn Back Time. They do camps and, and whatnot. And it's a very, very interesting place. Um, again, small team, just three of us, and I led it. And not only did the site get completed, but we were able to roll it out that weekend, which is a pretty big deal. Um, because of my experience at Oomph, I was able to actually do a little bit more custom stuff for, for um, Turn Back Time. Um, something small like a custom post type, but I was able to get um, a little bit more than just a basic theme. But, so while 2012 was great, 2013, not so much. So, honestly, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this slide, but uh, basically there was like some scheduling conflicts, there was some, some hitches that just didn't work, the guy I was working with, we just made it way too ambitious of a project to do in the weekend. I think it, if I remember well, it came together all right, but just not great. Um, that, that was a very stressful give camp for me, so let's carry on. Um, 2014, fortunately, my son's birthday lied on the same weekend as give camp, so I was able to use that as an excuse to take a break from give camp. But I only bring this slide up because of the epic cake that gets made every year from one of the co-founders' wives. Um, he only has one wife. Um, <laughs> she just makes these like works of art that you can eat. It's great. Um, and that's you know, just the only reason why I put that slide up there. Um, however, in 2014, I did get my second game. Um, Hired purely, this is the first job that I was interviewed and in, hired just for my development skills. They didn't care that I was a troubleshooter in the past. They didn't care about that stuff. They wanted me purely because I knew WordPress, I knew how to do stuff. Um, that's actually not the logo for staff, um, but their UX person just, and, and designer does such a great job with the logos, I had to do it. Um, stat, if you've been to a past work camp, uh, WordPress meetup, you know that I Worked there as a developer, um, stat as a part of the Boston Globe, uh, doing medical and life sciences stuff. And me and two other developers built that site from the ground up. Uh, when I got hired, there was nothing there. It was just like a landing page and that was it. Um, we, in like, I don't know, like three months, built it, launched it, and maintained it ever since. And that job, cemented the fact that yes, I can be a developer, and yes, I can do this, and yes, I can actually go to the next Give Camp and do a great job. So, I decided after 2013, I was a little gun shy about leading another team, so I co-led another one. Um, and because of my experience at OOF, my experience at SPAT, I was able to tone down what the, the um, requirements were for the site and what we could do within a weekend. And we were able to, for uh, was Write Boston was the name of the site, and we were able to come up with a theme, um, a parent theme, do a child theme, do some customization for it, and get it done over the weekend. Unfortunately, that one didn't go live because of posting issues on their side um, which is kind of a bummer, I really liked that site. Um, oh, by the way, that's my son, holy um, He's actually started coming with me to give camps and um, helping out as, as well. So volunteering brings fun and fulfilling it to your life. Talk way too fast. Um, so, 2016, I volunteered again and did a solo project and did pretty well. Also in 2016, I decided to um, co-organize uh, Give Camp. Um, somewhere in there, I also decided to co-organize WordPress meetups and work camps as well. Um, but 2016, we had another epic cake. It happened around Halloween, so that's why the cake was like that. Um, 2017 was my first 
Give Camp as an official organizer, and I uh, was just the technical lead and, and just helped out wherever I could. Um, and one of the clients was a Taekwondo uh, club out of um, out of Cambridge, and they taught like they did a little quick Taekwondo class, which was kind of cool. Um, and Sundays, we had Sundays close enough. It was Saturday night, really, but close enough to Sunday that we could have Sundays on Sunday. Um, and I landed um, just a few months ago, beginning beginning of summer, um, a job at Boston University. Um, again, purely for my technical skills as a developer and not as a support person. Um, so, this is actually the end of my slide. This turned into a lightning talk. Um, so to wrap things up, I, I wanted to show how volunteering can connect with like-minded people um, and bring you together and allow you to do great stuff. Every year, um, there are people that have come every year for Give Camp, and it's like this reunion. It's like family reunion coming back together. We're all helping out these these nonprofits, and we're catching up on like what our kids are doing and all that. And it's just a really solid connection, and it's it's quite. Um, Quite the opportunity to, to, to learn from these other people. Um, like I said, my son has started coming in uh, and doing give camps with me. In fact, that was his air mattress in 2017, and that was my cot. Um, he gets to pitch a tent in an office, which I think is kind of funky, kind of cool. Um, and I would keep going to give camps. As long as they have them, um, and I encourage everyone to volunteer. Like, it is—it's it, not just good for your mind. It's not good, not just good for who you're um, helping out, but it's good for your heart. It's good for just just a general well-being. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be Give Camp, but we would welcome anyone. Uh, it can be anywhere you want. Um, I hope this was informative and. Uh, not too overly boring, um, and thank you for listening to me ramble. <laughs> Don't know if that was a talk or the questions, but if you want to ask me any questions, feel free. Nope? Good. <laughs> oh, darn it. The give camps? Yeah. When are, uh, say that again? Yeah, what do you guys typically have when they're making give camps? They are in, generally in the spring, uh, late April, early May. Um, it's now we do them at a place in Watertown called Blue Metal. They allow us to sleep over in pitch tents and air mattresses. Um, and we usually get about roughly around 20 to 30 nonprofits to help out. Um, some repeat folks. Um, the one that I worked on this year was actually a, um, a group out of Panama. The New England connection is she went to school in uh, at Yale. Um, they do like reforestation for this uh, part of Panama that and help out the, 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 the locals with what plants are good to plant and stuff like that. You know, it's like, it's like, um, honestly, I'm still working on that one. And uh, that's a little, little out of the realm of what usually happens, but um, hopefully that's out of the life soon. And then at, at Give Camp, so what it sounds like, it's literally like a camp. You're sleeping over, like, oh, yeah. you're like hours, yeah. and then yeah. each, each site, so it depends on the it depends on the um, on the nonprofit. Some need um, a redesign. Yep. Those are usually WordPress focused. So we're able to take a parent theme, child theme it. Um, but we've had other people just need artwork done 
um, like letterhead logos, that type of stuff. A um, uh, couple have asked for like apps to be at least started on, um, database work, little this, little that. We're not just restricted to, to WordPress, just basically anything. Like the first couple give camps were a lot of Drupal, which left me in the cold, but yeah, I found stuff. Um, anything else? Anyone else? No? Yes, what? What was the primary professional Um, don't know if I can speak to the latter. Honestly, GiveCamp is the one thing that, call, that called to me and that's the one I focus on mostly. Um, what is the what one... So, I think what volunteering has given me professionally is confidence and um, a, a, a sense of, of knowledge that I, that I can do this anywhere. I can do my work with anyone, for anyone. Um, now what volunteering does for my career, or what my career does for volunteering, is it gives me that knowledge, it gives me those resources to to do better at the next at the next camp at the next uh, place that I volunteer. Does that answer your question? Okay. Anyone else? No. Right. Thank you very much.